Well, okay, basically for me, I wanted to choose a discipline in which there was a combination of both medicine and surgery. So ob offers that. Um, you, you get to see patients, you do a lot of consultation, so that's the medical part. On the other hand, you can also do, um, you do quite a bit of surgery, but whether it being a, a Caesar or gyne, gyne operations. And um, so, so you're, it's a mixture of both, you know, you're never bored. Um, the other thing was also the discipline itself. It's usually a very happy discipline. I mean, delivering babies, that's introducing life to the world and um, getting women pregnant. I mean, that's a big, you know, um, great satisfaction from doing that. So these tend to be happy um, disciplines. Don't get stressed about it, okay? Because pregnancy, unlike any other event, you're, you're seeing a gynecologist or an obstetrician because you're pregnant and pregnancy is a natural event. So unlike other disciplines where you see all the conditions where you see a doctor because there's something medically wrong with you, um, pregnancy, it, you're not. I mean, it's, it's a natural event. So basically, don't get stressed out. Um, try not to read too much on the internet because sometimes, like you said, your internet comes up with a lot of negative things and people complain about that. So um, yeah, so basically, no stress. Um, listen to your body. Um, if you're tired, you want to sleep, you've got certain food cravings and it's, it happens at a certain time or you're eating food that you don't normally like to eat and you want to eat it, um, go ahead and do it because that's, you know, that's your body reacting to pregnancy. But the last thing is obviously is um, healthy diet, um, regular exercise. So um, if you stick to those golden rules, more or less, um, you, know, you, you probably have a very stress-free um, pregnancy and probably a very enjoyable one rather than you know, uh, going through pregnancy where, you, where it's a time that you associate with a lot of restrictions and worry. It should be something that you look for. I mean, I, I feel that women should look forward to being pregnant at a time that they enjoy. Okay, so first and foremost, I think um, for women, um, healthy diet, exercise, okay? Because when, when you're, when you're um, eating properly and you're exercising properly, your, your body's more or less primed to to get pregnant, they should be starting to take their preconception multivitamins and folate because studies have shown um, a low risk, um, you know, of neural tube defects. The second thing would be um, regular intercourse. So the more frequent intercourse, the higher the chances. And because the last thing is um, intercourse during your fertile period. And most women kind of know when is their fertile period. So that would be the best time to have regular intercourse. Yes, it can because women oh, oh, yeah, um, have um, some testosterone, that's the male hormone and, and during their reproductive cycles, I guess, um, some women they have a lower testosterone levels and, and that can actually affect their sex drive. Mm -hmm. But don't forget for women, um, li um, libido is not so much so physical, sometimes it's very emotional as well. So if a woman's not in the right state of mind, it doesn't matter how high her testosterone is, she will not be you know, wanting to have intercourse. Okay, we start with the positives. So, um, being um, when you're on the pill, that, because um, effective contraception, okay, it's one of the most effective contraceptives, provided you take it properly. Um, it regulates your period. So, women with irregular periods, it helps. Um, women with heavy, painful periods, similarly, um, it has benefits and it's meant to alleviate those problems. These these are short-term um, benefits. Long-term benefits are things like um, it protects against e cancer of the womb and cancer of the ovary. And the thing about cancer of the ovary is that even when you women stop taking the pill, that protection lasts for 30 years. Of course, that, that protection begins to wane of the, you know, the longer that you've stopped the pill, but there is still some protection um, up to 30 years, and studies have shown that. Um, the negative thing about taking the pill, I guess, is um, uh, breast cancer, okay? So if women who go on the pill, there's a small increase risk of breast cancer. And so women who have a strong family history of of breast cancer, they shouldn't be on the pill, be it the pill or any form of hormones. Um, the, the other benefit I got to mention was um, the, the pill also does reduce the incidence of things like fibroids, benign um, cysts in the ovary. So, in other words, the pill, being on the pill has actually has more benefits than um, uh, um, adverse events or negative events. I think I think one of the common myths about Botox is that people think that um, you know, once I have Botox, I don't need to go for it again. It's not true, because Botox is officially, the official word is it lasts for four months. So once you've, once you've had Botox, um, 
the effect wears off and you probably need a, you know, a, a, a second injection. It's not a bad thing actually, it's quite a good thing because it means that if you, don't, if you, if you inject Botox and you some, for some reason you don't like it, well it's not permanent. So you, know, you can get it you know, redone or in a way that you'd, you'd like. Um, the other thing about, about um, lasers, similarly, you know, people think that going for lasers, it's a one-time treatment. It's usually not. Most, most skin conditions, you need several sessions before you actually see your final result. So it's, I think when people go for laser treatments, patients must be aware of that and also be patient that there, there's no instant you know, cure. You can't zap something and it completely disappears. Um, it will take some time, especially for a study. Um, personally, I like I like playing golf, but I haven't played golf for a few years. I think coming up to a year and a half because of pre practice, and you've got to spend time playing on the golf course. And it's 18 holes is four hours. In four hours, um, you can be called to do a delivery, and then the game gets interrupted. So you know your playing golf partners won't be happy. Um, the, the other thing is um, having kids, two two young daughters. Um, they typically much take a lot of your time. I mean, I, example, I like I like driving, but um, you know, it's no more driving on the race courses and stuff. It's more driving them, shuttling them around, um, doing their play groups to the kindergarten to the yeah. So you do the school runs as opposed to you know the runs on the circuit.